One thing we haven't factored in to what's going to happen this season, though, is COVID. Yes. And the chaos it's caused over the last few weeks. The AFL would say that last weekend was the worst weekend of what has been a number of disastrous and really troubling weekends for them. Nothing, of course, like last year. But we're sitting here on a Monday night tonight. We hope that... Um, that Carlton will be able to get over to Perth to play Fremantle because that's on Saturday night. But there's every chance the West Australian government could intervene or that numbers over there could get bad and Victoria could stop a West Australian team coming here. We've got two lots of teams isolating in um, Fremantle, of course, because they've been in Victoria and North Melbourne because they were at Melbourne Airport. And, of course, Brisbane coming here on Wednesday, stuck in Melbourne again until they go to play Adelaide in Adelaide on the weekend. Sydney and GWS still here, not happy about it, but not looking like leaving here anytime soon. Enormous frustration between the AFL and state governments. Players and clubs, terrible frustrations. Uh, a lot of stuff went on on the weekend I don't think we'll ever hear about, but I think, you know, when you've got a game, a crowd being pulled from a game, when people are walking into the ground, it's just an extraordinary set of circumstances. Yeah, and Hubs very much back on the table, despite comments from the AFL chief, Gillian McLaughlin, weeks ago. We are not envisaging hubs. Um, they are our last term resort. We think we can navigate through the next few weeks with um, you know, surges here and there, one, two, three weeks max. Um, we'll get you back and we'll work our way through this. And that, um, please don't think hubs are on the near-term agenda because they're not. Yeah, we know we can do hubs, frenzies, all of those different things. But at the moment, I don't think that's where we're at. I feel confident we'll get the games away this week and we'll keep... Uh, monitoring what's going on. I'm emphatic the season will play out and we'll have 23 rounds, 22 full rounds with the bye at the end of the season and finals. I don't think there'll be a problem, but there's going to be a lot of casualties along the way and it's going to be the survival of the fittest, which is why you can't definitively rule out a rule in anyone as a premiership favourite. Casualties favorite. in what way? Oh, just, some teams, I think, will just lose the hunger. It just won't be worth it. Will GWS actually be prepared to do what it takes to make finals, which mm. they should be able to do on some of their form this year? Will the Bulldogs hang on? It's just going to be really interesting to see which team proves to be the strongest. Did you like, Lordy, uh, as, as we go to break, the, the AFL chief with the five o'clock shadow? Yeah. Hutch, Hutchie's starting to roll with the beard here on this show. I actually quite... Can you grow a bit? Liked Gillen. It gets a little <laughs> I'm, bit I'm red. I'm told he was having a coffee and there was a few news crews waiting at a medical imaging centre to see a player. And, Steve and Tom Brown? And guess who, guess who bobbed up? <laughs> <laughs> the CSC. The AFL chief himself.